Hey Jerry, it's Robin. Just replying to your question about Bossa Dorado, the rhythm, this gypsy bossa rhythm. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the gypsy bossa rhythm, break it down really simply, step by step, and then show you a little tip for changing chords. So let me play the rhythm for you, then I'll break it down, okay? And it's good to use a metronome uh, to make sure you keep it in time, right? So here's 120 beats per minute. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. So that's the rhythm we're talking about here. So let's just take one chord, let's take the D minor. Right on the fifth fret, we're playing that note as well. So we've got, got the A in the bass, D. Okay, so the first bit of the rhythm is, okay, so that's all we're gonna go do. We're gonna go down, up, slap. And that slap is where the left hand comes off the strings to give it a muted sound. So no chord, no notes sounding there. Okay. Those first two notes, you have the chord down and the notes ring, right? Those two down up, right? But then that third, the hand comes down the same, but this hand goes up. So you get this effect. This hand is always even for the whole rhythm. You're not doing extra accents with this right hand, you're doing it with the left hand to make that muted bit. So, okay, so the beginning of the rhythm, down, up, slap. Okay, so get that right first and just practice that bit. And then the final bit of the rhythm, you just carry on. The, the hand goes down again, and you carry on with the right hand. So. The right hand is always even. The left hand. The left hand is controlling the beat, controlling that back beat, okay? I personally, on that slap, I actually put my hand on the strings to give it more effect. So I kind of mute it like that, but you don't have to. So I go. I'm actually using my hand, but you can just keep the, the right hand steady and even. That's going to create the gypsy bossa sound. It's even, it's the same every single bar. It's not like a. It's not something like that. In this music, it's most powerful if you play it simple, the same every bar. So let's recap down, up, slap, up, down, up, slap, up, down, up, slap. goes faster make sure that the two and four one and two and three and four and one and two is the is the backbeat so make sure that's you can really hear that so don't play it loud play it soft don't have to hit it hard with the right hand. Let's try it with the metronome now, 120 beats per minute, just on every beat. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Just practice it like this. Okay, 
make sure you practice the metronome. The left hand, that is what is, if you didn't lift the left hand up, it would be like this. It comes up on that beat and that's what gives it, what gives it the groove. Okay, so, um, so practice it. Let me know how you go with that, Jerry. Just practice it slowly. Um, on one chord for now, okay? So don't worry about the whole Bossa Dorado thing. When you do practice it with the whole piece, practice changing chords, like from the D to the E7. Obviously, all the chords are in the other video, but for now, really important to be comfortable with this Gypsy Bossa rhythm. So, Jerry, have a go, get back to me, and I'll make you another video. Or if you could make a video, that would be even better than I can see what you're doing. All right, Jerry, stay inspired, mate. See you soon.